Or, prova, prova, prova. No. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Okay, well, hello, and uh, welcome to day two of our Electronica 2022 roundup with me, Nitin Dahad, and Maurizio De Paolo Emilio. Hello, Maurizio. Hey, Nitin, how are you? Good. So, um, as you can see in the background, um, this year is EE Times' 50th anniversary, and uh, to celebrate, uh, EE Times has uh, put on a, a party uh, to uh, sort of invite uh, industry and uh, other folks uh, to celebrate. But uh, in seriousness, day two, we uh, continued with our embedded forum and power electronics forum. And uh, we're, I will talk a little bit about embedded forum and Maurizio will talk about power. But um, really, we were talking on embedded about uh, AI at the edge and uh, the reality of AI at the edge. Um, Celes Chitipedi at uh, Renesas Electronics did our keynote. And uh, he talked about some real examples of where AI at the edge is actually working. And uh, then we also had a panel discussion on how smart can we live. And I had Omnivision, um, uh, Renesas, and um, uh, NXP Semiconductors. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I should remember all of them. But uh, anyway, uh, so we had a really good panel discussion on uh, what kind of things are making smartness and one of the things that came out from the whole panel is when I asked them uh, where is the future and they said almost unanimously, unanimously smart kitchens in terms of the near future. Uh, Marissa maybe Power Electronics you can talk, talk a little bit about the forum. Sure thank you Nidhi. So today we, we have had the Power Electronics forum with the, the opening talk by ST Microelectronics. I I met for the first time uh, Filippo Di Giovanni, this is uh, engineering at uh, ST Microelectronics and he talked about uh, wideband gap, wideband gap semiconductor. So we are living a good moment uh, in terms of wideband gap uh, gallium nitride and uh, silicon carbide for some applications uh, from consumer to uh, industrial, automotive uh, and, and so on. And also a great panel because uh, in this panel we have had uh, and the main leaders, together others for sure, talking about uh, gallium nitride, uh, trends, challenges, and uh, silicon carbide. Silicon carbide, uh, the next step about 200 millimeter substrate, maybe is the next to guarantee the next wave of silicon carbide, in particular for the electrification, because electrification is everywhere. Uh, is uh, as um, vol speed, uh, the CEO of vol speed said during the round table in the first time, is is uh, unstoppable and. Uh, is a trend that we need to, to guarantee for several reasons about also climate change target. And this is uh, only can, uh, can do by gallium nitride and silicon carbide. This wide band gap that can guarantee a good efficiency in this, in this, uh, in this way. We have had other technical talks during this, uh, this day. And uh, I have had the opportunity to talk with uh, uh, some companies, uh, in particular Nexperia, uh, InnoScience, uh, uh, Keysight, uh, in particular, uh, I have noticed uh, there is uh, an important uh, rule in terms of testing, testing for battery, because automotive, uh, I for electric vehicle, uh, well, when we be mainstream, we need to take care of the battery. Battery, but not only in terms of design, but when we, you are designing a battery, you need to take care of the, the cells from the, uh, <coughs> the first approach, in the first approach, and until we have the final design. And, uh, uh, for tomorrow, we have also uh, another session for Power Electronics News, and we will talk uh, a good topic, so a topic that is uh, close to my heart, about uh, renewable energies. And we will discover more how to improve the use, uh, how to, to be greener, because now it's time to, to be very... to start to use, uh, to take the first step, as uh, the CEO of Onsemi said. And it's important to, to take the step about green innovation. Each of us should take the first step for, for that. What do you think, Nidim? Uh, yeah, and um, I, while you were talking, I, I, I don't want to do a disservice to anybody. On my panel was Renesas, NXP, Amberella, uh, and um, Omnivision. So I just didn't want to leave anybody out. But uh, yes, you're right. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the people I met today. And uh, they included um, AMS Osram, um, Micron and an uh, interesting Norwegian startup called Wheel.me. And um, what I have to say is um, 
uh, when I met with MS Osram, uh, the one thing he was really trying to um, emphasize to me was that the role of semiconductors in health is understated. I think there is a very s strong focus on uh, semiconductors for automotive and, and um, electrification, but where it's probably going to make the most impact uh, is probably health. And um, I was talking to a specific business unit within AMS Osram, and this is one of their sp uh, areas. Obviously, they do industrial, consumer, automotive. But um, I think the, the, he did a keynote speech this morning on health. And uh, one of the areas I think he, he sort of highlighted was, uh, for example, CT scan uh, machines using photon counting. And he said the transformation in the capability of that is like going from uh, black and white t television to color television that's so uh, significant but there are many other areas and uh, watch out for some of the things we're going to be writing the other thing I think uh, was quite interesting when I spoke to Micron is they've extended their Authenta uh, key management service which is the uh, uh, root of trust uh, hardware security uh, system and um, what they're enabling that uh, to do is now allowing customers to provide billing uh, capability. So it's not just the key management, but it's actually key billing. So if you imagine, for example, uh, uh, eSIMs on mobile phones, um, if I want to, if I was a operator and I wanted to enable um, uh, the operator to uh, bill and authenticate and attest the user uh, with an eSIM, uh, then I can do that with this service. Now, it's not just for that, it's for the whole IoT uh, landscape so that's what's that's going to be able to do El enable customers to actually provide billing to their customers for for that and um, a very interesting one that I was walking past and I saw this Norwegian startup called wheel.me and uh, what they're quite uh, quite interesting they're offering robotics as a service now imagine uh, robot vacuum cleaners now instead of building a robot vacuum cleaner why don't you put underneath your vacuum cleaner a, a, a robotic wheel and that's what, basically what they've done. They've developed a robotic wheel with the cameras and the LiDAR. So it's effectively the same as those vacuum cleaners, but you can put it under anything. And they've got some big uh, American uh, automotive customers using that. And they started in 2013, but it's quite impressive that, yeah, you have to do is just yeah, put this underneath and it's quite yep. effective. Sorry, you want to say? Yeah, yes, indeed. And uh, when you are talking about LiDAR, and uh, as Alex Lidl said during this panel, you need to manage the power, and GAN is doing well in this in this case. <coughs> this is important. And as you said, in uh, automotive semiconductor field is going well, just because we are seeing electrification. So yeah. just moving from uh, conventional vehicles, ICE, to electric vehicles. So we will see a lot of elect electronics. Yeah. That means a lot of new power solutions. That means uh, security also, that's important. Yeah. So a combination about autonomous and electric vehicle, that is uh, the future. Exactly. And uh, I just want to close this uh, by reminding everybody who's watching this to uh, come by if you're uh, here tomorrow. We're running the Embedded Forum and Power Electronics Forum again. And uh, I'll have uh, talks from NVIDIA and Pragmatic Semiconductor uh, talking about AI at the edge and um, ML uh, for uh, sustainable ML implementation. And uh, I think uh, you also mentioned that the Power Electronics Forum has, has got some key speakers as well. Yes, absolutely. Also, let me say that, that uh, today I have also met uh, uh, Navitas talking about uh, a new portfolio about GAN and silicon carbide because Navitas acquired Genesic in terms of silicon carbide uh, solutions and, uh, and, and others. I also ST Microelectronics. Uh, I, uh, I have met again Filippo and talking about uh, new GAN uh, concepts from uh, uh, Cascode, uh, Enhancement Mode and so on. So tomorrow we have uh, a new session about uh, renewable energy and uh, energy storage. We have uh, Hassan El Khoury, uh, the CEO of Onsemi, that will talk about uh, powering the next future. So we are living in a moment that we need to take care about uh, the behavior. So we need to, to change our mentality because we need to reduce the CO2 emissions and this is the next step. After that uh, we have a guy Moxie that will talk about energy storage and then 
many technical talks about uh, energy storage in general, like topic, uh, in uh, different sub subtopics. Nitin. And I think I would say that's a wrap for day two. Uh, watch out for uh, what we're going to say tomorrow. Thank and you. so it's a uh, good night from me. And good night from me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I think it was much better than yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah more, more lively.